So, just arrived to Bansko, the small town in Bulgaria. If you're staying in summer, I would recommend you to stay in the old town. So I found this place very close to it, just like a few, few blocks away and it's spacious. So I have a whole balcony here for me and other apartments, which is pretty cool. I have the whole view of, of the mountains. There's a whole digital nomad festival happening in a few days, so I'm very excited to show you what's happening around. So to know more about Bansko, I'm meeting a YouTuber friend. He's an Italian called Gianni Bianchini. He's been in Bansko for a while, so he's gonna show us a little bit what is, what's up with this town. Okay, this church here, it's very, very old. It's the main church here, you can see from uh, the, the bell tower there. Inside the church is amazing because it's full of frescoes, very, very old frescoes. There is an atmosphere really, really particular. This guy is very, very important for uh, Bulgaria. He uh, organized the Bulgarian language. Yeah, this is the old town of uh, Bansko. In 10, 15 minutes you are basically everywhere. Not so many tourists come here, they usually stay in the main square. There are some very, very old houses here. I really love the, the courtyards of uh, these houses. Johnny, thank you, thank you very much. I think it was a great, great overview of Vansko. So let's go and explore more. Yeah. All right. Ciao, hey, Sergio. Ciao. Ciao. Good afternoon. Good. So is this the best Bulgarian food place? Absolutely. So now it's time to try like the Bulgarian food, the authentic one. I'm here with friends, Mitch and Diana. You guys have a YouTube channel for travel hacking, right? Yeah, Project Untethered. I have some good recommendations here. The mix such, it's a very big plate. It's 700 grams, so two we, packs dish. So we can share. Absolutely, you can split your normal. Say that for two. For two. Tastes, good. Tastes like good meat. Mm -hmm. Tastes like good meat. Mm -hmm. So this is a garlic bread. I tried it once already, it's really good. So this is, what is this? Oh, the salad. The shops salad, yes. And the jello uh, bread. Breaded yellow cheese. It's okay. like a cheese stick mixed with blueberries. Yeah, is that good? Only in Bulgaria. <laughs> Only in Bulgaria. <laughs> they taste better than a beer. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> For the Bulgarian Cheers food. Cheers to Bansko. To Bansko, yeah. <laughs> So I just found out there's a whole festival today. It's more of a local thing. They're dancing and singing and wearing all these local costumes. So it's pretty cool. You know, the whole Bansko town is here. So it feels very, very local cultural. So of course, the first place that I had to check is co-working Bansko. This is why Basco became so much famous for Digital Nomad. But I'm meeting with Matias, which is the owner of this place. And uh, yeah, he's gonna tell us more about what's going on here. In our tradition, if you bring me a magnet, I will give you a magnet, of course. So oh. here is a Matias magnet. Oh, you got a Matias magnet. And it will forever remind us of Sergio being here. <laughs> we met that three years ago and I promised you to come to Basco. Finally made it. People come here to relax, to enjoy life to find out what they really want to do with their life and to meet people to do these things together. There's a few locations around the town. This one's called the quiet space. You shouldn't be talking, but there's also the lounge, there's also the social space, social place we can play some games. So I'm also excited to check that on Monday. How many games do you have here? Uh, I think we have 136 games, but who's counting? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got my first game that one. But it's good. Sergio was not sure for half of the game what he's doing. He still won. <laughs> That's true. I didn't know what I was doing. Be beginner's luck. Beginner's luck. There's also like poker nights. There's always activities happening here. One of the coolest is that every Friday where we're gonna have some barbecue potluck. Hey. hey there. So the deal is you bring some food. It's a potluck. Yes. Try not to bring the cheapest meat, but bring something where you slave the whole afternoon in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. You put it here. Then we will release the animals. They will storm towards the food, <laughs> and then you take whatever is left over. Okay, this is how potluck works in oh. co-working <laughs> Bansko. Cheers, Cheers. 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 I want to like, like the freshman development. Yeah, this is co-working Bansko. It's good Wi-Fi, like ergonomic chairs, spacious. I think I'm gonna spend most of my time working here. Thank you, Sergio, for coming and exploring our community. Hey, hey, there you go. 
Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I'm checking today the Sunday market, and this name implies every Sunday there's uh, a lot of like stands you can buy anything. How's the shopping? Yes, a little bit of fruit. When I finish the 10 leva, I think it's enough. Otherwise, I can't eat everything. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> you can't get more local than this, you know. And it was very interesting, our interactions, because there's a bit of English and a little bit of Bulgarian. It goes, goes a lot of ways to learn a few words. For example, Esbradeina, that it means hello. Uh, Blagodaria, thanks. Dobraden, which is good day, and Dobradev for good afternoon. Might not be the best accent. Found Gabriel, Gabriel Traveler. Hey guys, also. how's it going? Like a YouTuber that does, yeah, you, you go around everywhere, no? You make tons of... Uh, yep, tons of places. Yeah. Yeah. We're now gonna check the Belling house. Yeah, get inside there and uh, look at the painting. Mm. And then the bedroom, it looks like. The design is amazing, like this, you know, little sort of space here that's kind of outside yeah. and um, yet covered. It, um, it gives us the idea of how the band school life was way before, no? Yeah. Yeah. I really like so. it. This is like my favorite style of a house, just nice. like this. So. so there's like a small basement. I guess where they used to hide from the coal or just, I don't know exactly what it was for, but. So very nice to cool. encounter you, man. You too, man. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll, we'll see each other on the YouTube. Cool. By the way, some friends recommended me to check this place called Coconut Coffee and Smoothies. If you want healthy stuff, a really great coffee. So your matcha, yeah. cold chocolate, cold chocolate, like a my espresso. <laughs> <laughs> and the owner might look a bit grumpy, but it's actually a pretty cool guy. Talking about healthy things, one of the things that I like about Bansko in summer is that everybody's playing some games. And right now, I'm gonna go to meet other people of the Bansko co-working. We're gonna play some volleyball. Oh, oh, nice. oh. 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 Good, 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 good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There you go, there you go. Well, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I mean, there's a lot of games that people can play, like tennis, basketball, soccer. I actually played soccer the other day. Man, I'm tired. All right, so today I want to show you what is a whole day in Bansko. And it's like around 8 a.m. in the morning, so let's go and take a walk. Can I get a Americano? Yep. So I usually start the day with a good coffee. And I found this one just in the Beard Street, one of the main streets. Small, cute place to start the day and just seeing people pass by, some of the nomads heading high here and there. All right, so now it's time to do some work and there's no other better place than co-working Basco. I'm just gonna go to the location. It's called the lounge. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey, I haven't seen you. So one of the members here in the co-working called Paolo, he likes to make lunch to everyone. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. This is yes. uh, Italian chili con carne without animals. Yeah. Everything is vegan, it's vegan, it's vegan. Nice. Thing. Even the beer is vegan, right? Maybe it will to happen the pool, like the yeah. how, they, how the kids exercise. Hold on! There you go! Oh, oh damn! Oh. There you go. And it was nice to see, you know, other nomads. We hang and just chat with some of them. So we're playing Nintendo Switch today. But it's just fun to see all the interaction and all the things happening around, no? But it's actually, there's a pizza place just in front of the co-working. And I like to get a slide all the time. So I'm gonna take one just to for takeaway. So let's go. Freaking views, you know, like of the mountains. It's so amazing. Yes, yeah, Chile. I, uh, I, Mexico. Ah, Mexico. Ubicha, Chile. Chile, yes. <laughs> yes, I found it in Bulgaria. They also have the skites. This is what I used to eat a lot in Mexico. It's kusna. It's kusna, please. Ah. Ah. Yes, the same. Thank you. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> it's such a nice lady and it's good to have the same taste of the skides of Mexico here. So cool. Just came back, gonna take a nap, then take a shower and uh, 
gonna go out to uh, meet some friends. What's up, Gary? Oi. There's also a lot of street cats in Bansko. This one is so lovely. I'm gonna take it with me. <laughs> so now I'm walking across the Pirin streets, one of the most active streets. It goes all across the town. There's so many things around, like shops, art galleries, restaurants, and there's also a few bars. Another Mary. And you know the cheese, cheese. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah. Are you here? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Just close the night with some uh, conversation with cool friends. That's, that's the great thing about Bansko, you know, that people are doing things all around. All right, today's Sunday. I'm very excited because we're gonna have the opening night of Bansko Nomad Fest. And first we're gonna meet in the main square of Bansko to have some opening drinks and get to know the 500 attendees of the whole conference. Which is nice, thank you. Yeah. Hi. Oh, oh, there you go. So these coffee machines are harder to understand because they're in Bulgarian. This is espresso, coffee, cappuccino. There's this curious detail about Bansko that you can find these machines like this one like for fresh orange juice. I just got one of them and yeah, it's actually really fresh. If you want like a quick coffee and orange uh, breakfast, you can find it all around the town. I'm glad that you have chosen Bansko for your meeting. When we started Bansko, nobody thought digital nomads would come here ever. Um, Bansko Nomad Fest is the idea that we compress everything that we normally do at Four Work in Bansko, we compress it into one week. There's two stages for it. One is the theater stage, and the other one is the cinema stage. Now I'm gonna be the one opening the cinema stage, just gonna talk about YouTube for digital nomads. So, very excited, very excited to share my talk and meet a lot of cool people. It do feel weird to be honest to bring the camera out of that. This is why every introduction I always start like and I never expected that all these things came to what I'm doing. So right <coughs> guys, what do you think about the talk? <laughs> yeah, so it was good. I just got the whole uh, talk. A lot of people they were cheered up, so yeah. Okay, let's keep seeing what's happening. Your very first ever Bosco Nomad Fest. Uh, no uh, <laughs> I don't know what was that with you. Alright, so now we're gonna have a panel. Do you agree that the Nomad's Giving Back? Yay! Hey. For those of you that aren't aware, Nomad's Giving Back is an organization that has a mission to inform, empower, and inspire people to give back to the places they call their home away from home. Hope you enjoyed it. So every day after the main talks, we're using the whole Bansko Town Park and there's a lot of things happening. The first thing is the on-conference session. Everybody can choose the topic and for an hour just gather and talk about it. There's like yoga, like volleyball, there's also some boots. There's like a lot of things nomad related and yeah, we spend the whole afternoon here. So it's pretty cool just to have, hang out with all the nomads around, you know? Go, 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 go! Go, go! All right, all right, all right. Is everybody happy? Yeah. Okay, so this is the Is Isgreva uh, hot springs, right? And it's one of the best in Bulgaria. So exciting. I just, the thing is that we're gonna be so many people. It's like the whole conference is gonna go to the hot springs. So let's see. Let's see if we, we're all gonna have some. Let's see what happens. We have enough space for that. Oh man. Yo, Sergio. Yo, ¿Qué pasa, hermano? ¿Cómo so va? Trying to enjoy the, the hot springs. love to have you guys on stage and tell our wonderful audience about the amazing work you're doing to get you guys all loved up. To find people.
people who love what you love doing. How can we build the foundation of a new nomadic community if we are always rushing? How to face this, this rapid future? So in Basque atmosphere, there's a lot of premium activities to do. One of them is mountain biking. I'm gonna do it with my friend Payman. Yo. We're gonna, we're gonna have fun, right? Oh yeah. Downhill mountain biking. Maybe we'll do some jumps? Yes, I mean, Basco is like whole mountains. So yeah. I think it's one of the great things to do here. But it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Let's do it. A bit complicated to do, it's a lot of like breaking, but it's... There you are. <laughs> it was fun, it was fun. Yeah, it was really good. It's like it took us one hour. Yeah. To go all really? The way Only down. one hour? Yeah. Oh, that's it's pretty mean. quick, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bla Blagadoria. Thank you very much. Uh, and so I wanted to get people together, people that I thought would appreciate both the pause and the idea. Thanks. And it comes with wine. Is this the king of the digital nomads? Some say. Oh, some oh, say. oh. And we're gonna do some wine tasting because, uh, yeah, Bulgaria is supposed to be known for also for good wine, no? That's, that's, that's what I heard. And it's gonna be a blind taste. I won't show you which wines or tell you which wines you are tasting. Hence the reason why you got the scorecard going round. You can mark it for yourself. We get the first one and we Sorry? need to compare after. Yeah. Oh, four wines. The second one is the first. It is, huh? no, I didn't have it. So the first one is a grape called Melnik 55 or Shiroko Melnichka. You have certain grapes in Bulgaria where um, they will only grow in certain areas. Uh, there's a grape in northern Bulgaria called Gamza, um, which in all honesty is a bit like vinegar, um, but it's a bit of one's taste. <laughs> I think this is definitely not like vinegar. So tonight we're going what they call the playground. It's a place from co-working Bansko. And we're just gonna hang out, have some bonfire, and watch the clear sky and enjoy like a very, very Vasco Bulgarian experience, you know, on the camera. <laughs> It's like a farm truck. It was 30 minutes all the way up, all together, like 30 people together. Over here is the bar. If you're gonna buy drinks, donate to charity. Dai, 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 dai. Grande. Yourself, Nora. Hi. And yeah, having a break with everyone about safety. Like the best insurance. I'm, I'm an ambassador too, so yeah. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I need to like shameless plug it. There you go. Yeah. The, the affiliate link is in the description. Yeah, I'll put it there down there. <laughs> Write out your ideal day, your ideal week, and your ideal life. Someone who is a Hungarian who wants to live in Lisbon, Portugal, is going to have a very different job search strategy. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to become a successful digital nomad. It's very interesting to see all the kind of ranges of talks that have been happening. You know, like YouTube, what I did, and also some people having like six figure businesses, other for marketing. And it's just a lot of stuff. So that's the cool thing. You get to learn and meet a lot of like interesting people. So, the coffee in the park is really good to be honest. Like, there's a good coffee, like, great Wi Fi. Check the Wi Fi speed, it's like it's so spacious. You can do a lot of work here, so it's pretty cool to uh, enjoy me while just uh, uh, do more of the conference and having some lunch and many other uh, digital moments. Masculine and feminine energy as a female entrepreneur, freelancer, founder with Dory and Chris is doing all the conference, so yeah. big shout out to her. Yeah. Shout out to me. Nice. I'm yeah. shouting out to me. Good job, Chris. <laughs> Good job. I also help people to learn remote jobs faster. And we both like this topic, we like to talk about those things. So it was just 
nice to bring people interested together. And so. uh, yeah, but yeah, as well, thank you, thank you for organizing the whole Bansko Namaz. Let's try to enjoy the last days of the, the Namaz Fest. Yeah, no? thank you for coming and hope to see you next year. Yeah, every summer, right? It's gonna be every, every summer. Every summer. Every summer in Bansko, there's the Namaz Fest. I think the names were Vlad and Vlad, they were Russian. <laughs> so I wanted to ask for the volunteers, the speakers, for Brits, for Kowark and Bansko, for Matthias, one very big final round of applause! <laughs> So we had a karaoke session and somehow my microphone went off, but I think it was meant to be. It's just better to imagine how amazing our voices were and what a great closing party we had. So the Bansko Nomad Fest is over, so now it's grind mode for a lot of people and just gonna go to another little locations of the co-working Bansko. This one is in the gondola area. What do you guys think about it? About the Bansko Nomad Fest? I think but the best part is really the meeting the, of people. Like I've never been in one place where we met so many like-minded people before yeah. so that for me was the highlight and very close to the co-working gondola there's this place called super bakery and they have like traditional pastry that is called banitsa it's just like a combination of egg cheese and a lot of stuff and this slice is one dollar and a half so let's try it out mm. wow mm -hmm. So walking around the whole gondola area, it looks very quiet right now because in summer, like there's not many things to do. I guess in winter, this is all made for winter because you have like for swords with spy. Big plus of Bansko in the winter, it's definitely like the ski station and snowboarding and skiing, which is very cheap. There are a lot of tourists in the winter also, so the co-workings and the bars are uh, full with people. But if you want a quiet area to live in summer, Stay in the gondola area. It's just gonna be like, like 20, 15 minutes walking away from the old town, so you just gotta take that in account. But actually, in summer, the gondola still works and it takes you all the way up to a water park, and that's what we're gonna do now with my friends taking the gondola and uh, having some fun summertime. Very <laughs> minutes waiting for like the gondola to take us here. Right? Yeah, yeah. Really? I just can't only imagine how amazing could it be in winter because I can see all these slopes to go down skiing. Damn. What is life good? It's perfect actually. Yes. Looks a bit scary. So yeah, I'm about to jump the longest water slide in Europe. Amazing. <laughs> I was like laughing the whole time. It was yeah. so much fun. Oh, yes, it was good. So very close to Bansko, there's a few national parks and there's like a lot of great nature, like things to do, like hiking and watching some of the most amazing lakes right now here in one that is called the uh, Otto Lake in the Peering National Park. From what I heard, you can't jump into the water. It's not that cold, that was gonna be colder. So by the way, to get to the Otto Lake, it takes like 20 minutes from the Beeren Hut. It's like the base of this uh, Peering National Park. Too many rocks. <laughs> Look at these rocks. Also, uh, just rented a car to the company that is called Inster Bansko inside the city and it's I think it's a good way to go around the whole area because it takes around 30 minutes to get for example here to Pier National Park it comes in handy to get a car if you want to check all the areas around Bansko yeah the freshest water you can get man
Bichem. Bulgarian? Yes. Oh. Things that you gotta do in summer in Basque is like hike one of the mountains. And we just got here to you know, the Bichem Peak. And here with my friend Laura, explore with Laura. <laughs> and it's like four hours to, to go up, no? I would rate it medium, but I hike a lot, so uh. others might say difficult. It's all up, there's like absolutely no break. Damn! Just a teardrop. This is what? Just a teardrop. Just got a little bit of rain at the end. Gotta be wet. We got to this restaurant that is like the start of the trail, and uh, we're gonna eat something. But yeah, it was fun. So just one hour and a half away from Vasco, you have the Rila Monastery, it's supposed to be one of the oldest, and most interesting monasteries of Bulgaria. Yeah, basically the monastery was founded because like the Christianity came to Bulgaria too and they just founded a place here in the Rila mountains. It's just freaking beautiful nature here. Oh, that's where you found it, that's somewhere over there. Thank you. Two dollar prices for a lot of the food here, it's just crazy. Eggplant and tomato puree. And this soup that is by the monastery, the Rila monastery. So it's like the only healthy uh, Bulgarian food that we can find. <laughs> So, I'm meeting again with Jenny. Hey, hey there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you told me about a place now that uh, we're gonna eat something, but first is the view of Bansko. Yes. And luckily, I have the car, so we, we can just do it. Yeah, there is a beautiful view from above here yes. of the city. Not many people know this place, <laughs> so this is really special. This, this is really reminds me of Chiang Mai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like this small place with the, with the river. I told you, this is uh, European capital of digital. Markets. I love it, I love it. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you. You? Good, thank oh, you. Wow, that's a big one. <laughs> thank no you, big. Sasha. This is no big. This is more, she said. Two kilograms. I love potatoes. Yeah. I'll try some fish. And yeah. Try to dip the potatoes with the lutein itself. Yeah, it's fantastic. Good. 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 And Prekrasno is very good. Okay, Prekrasno. Less of our dogs, so the ones we've attacked are the ones that have had a walk today. <laughs> yeah. That's a One of the things that I really want to do is to walk the dogs, and there's this is an organization called the Street Dogs, and here with uh, Tanya. Hello! The MC of the Cinema Stage. <laughs> Uh, it was pretty cool. Thank you for that. Thank you. So we actually from the Nomad Fest we got her well like two thousand left. Yeah. Which is like a thousand dollars. Yeah. For them to like to take care of them. There's so many dogs. For those it's, cute puppies. Yeah, it was hard to find the ones like you you can walk with them for an hour or so whenever you want. So it's pretty cool. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Should oh, we run? Should we run? Should we run? I love dogs. This is one of the best things in the world. One of the best things to do in Basco. Good boy! Good boy! No, I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, I totally recommend it to, to get some ice cream at the end of walking the dogs. To the, the dogs! dogs. <laughs> so cheesy. <laughs> How's the water? So nice. So nice? 
So we found this Italian restaurant called Leonardo and for five to ten dollars you can get the pool, chairs and you know enjoy the whole day especially right now that it's hot and get some drinks and having fun the whole day here with my friends and uh, yeah I also found that the Wi-Fi is fast so I'm doing a little bit of work here so it's a pretty cool place just to enjoy like a summer day you know so I'm going to one of the most famous restaurants here in Basco it's called The House and gathering some friends because it's one of my last nights just say goodbye uh, I, think, I think they got one there Yes. I don't know. Because it was a long time. Look at that. Wow. wow. There you go. Like this restaurant is so creative with its presentation. It's like everything's on this big plate or it's sizzling or it's like this this massive thing. Donut. <laughs> what is this water thing that we're trying? Yeah. The elderflower lemonade. Oh, it's the best lemonade that the house has to offer. Yeah, it's Flower sweet, but it's like, I, can, I, I can take it. I can take it. Not like bread and garlic. My God. Have you made it? When her hair is not pulled up, it's like. So I'm just packing up right now. It's been fun. Vansko is a pretty good place, but it's also time to go and keep the journey. All right. Hey, thank you for watching the video Vansko, the Digital Nomad. I hope it was really helpful and inspiring for you. We're going to talk about the town and the cost of living in a second, because first, we have a quick word from a sponsor, which is Nomadlist.com, the website that I've been using my whole life as a digital nomad. I use it to search the best cities to work remotely. There's so many around, and Bansko is over here. And if you check Bansko, for example, you can have everything score, digital nomad guy, cost of living, even some reviews of people that have been there, one just recently. It's also very community based. We have Slack channel and also Discord. You have all the conversation of people asking about accommodation and even dating, everything you want about the city, it can be there. But the best thing is you can create your own travel profile. You can see where you're being, where you're gonna go. And for example, if we go to Bansko, you can see the people who are there. And that's why I like Nomadlist. And I totally recommend to get a membership there. Just sign up, just the links are in the description over there. Create your own travel profile and maybe we're gonna meet on the way. So thank you Nomadlist for sponsoring this video and please go sign up because it's going to help me make more videos for you. All right, so Vansko, it's in Bulgaria, which is in Europe, but they're still not on Schengen, maybe in a few years. So just take that in account. So we go zoom in over here. You have Bulgaria, the whole country over here, and you usually arrive in Sofia. This is the, the airport and you take a shuttle or a bus and it takes you all the way to Vansko, it takes around two hours. And we go down, down here. There you go. This is the small town of Vansko. I have a link in the description about Google Maps with all the recommendations, the places that I've been, places that in, were not in the video, but they're also recommended. There are other co-workings besides co-working Vansko, so I'm gonna add them there. Everything is there, and even some outside of the town. For example, the whole Biran Peak and the Pier National Park, which is it was amazing. So it's just like 30 minutes from the town by car. And also some things that are way, way farther. For example, the beer sanctuary, which I didn't go, someone else went. I have some pictures here, you can see them. And also the Rila Monastery that is in the Rila National Park. But as you can see, that one is like, it's a bit far from Bansk, it was like two hours. So in reality, I didn't stay a whole month. It was around three weeks, but this is the overview of how much will be a whole month. So $1 one euro right now and the lab is around double the dollar you know and for the house i spent 400 for a whole month but co-working bansko has a website called um bansko nomad apartments so you can find very cheap deals for example 200 for a whole month and of course bansko nomad fest which is pretty cool and i got to meet tons of digital nomads and i gotta thank a few who helped me with some of the footage on this video like paolo nepi Otavio Caldeira, Gianni Bianchini, Laura of Explore with Laura, and Dan and Mitch from Project On Theater, and Nora, and like, uh, uh, there were so many people. So some of them were featured in the video. So thank you, thank you all for, for the great times that we had there. And hopefully we're gonna meet somewhere around. It's great to know that we're not the only crazy ones. So yeah, that's it. I might have a reading content about Bansko on my website. Also check the links in the description because I can explain even further. But if you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe, you're gonna help with the algorithm if you also write a comment what you think about it. And yeah, see you in the road, my friend. Ciao.